Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on to play the signature games in my heat book. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're gonna like and you're gonna love this video. Be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share my video. All right, guys, so um, we're here to play the signature games in my heat book. We do have uh, $20 today. As I mentioned, I'm going to um, play my games even on a more low income scale. OK, so I've kind of like half the amounts that I normally play with. So most weeks I play 40 or $50 into um, my games. OK, so I've been saving roughly about the goal was $500 a month in the book, but I'm closer to six. OK, so I'm going to half the 600 amounts so we're going to do 300 which is my goal amount for my book, okay, for the month. And then we're going to divide it by four weeks. And we're going to have a weekly goal of saving $75 per week in the heat book across four categories. So we're going to play the signature game at 20 the casino game at $20 a week, and then the uh, sinking fund game at $20 a week. And like I said, normally I play these games at between $40 and $50 each week, okay? And then we're going to uh, take bingo to $15 a week when I play Saving with Shalana Sunday Bingo Live, okay? So that's that's the goal for the weeks um, going forward, okay? So $75 a week in the heat book, but I just want to show you how you can just do a continuation of your games. Like say if you don't have a lot of money, but you still want to have the same experience that you were having before playing the games. And it also goes boils down to the tracker too, okay? So let's get our money into the binder first, and then we'll go ahead and talk about some of the changes that I made to play these games, okay? So far, so here we go. Let's kind of prop money really quickly. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay? So we have $20 to play with, and like I said, same tracker situation. Like I said, normally this was set up for $500, the color in that we know our page is completed. Now it's set up to color in to make sure that our page is, once completed is going to be $250 saved so, and we complete the whole page, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. We're playing with $20 today. So let's go ahead and color in right here. I'm going to do this. This is worth $10, okay? Okay. Okay. You just change the amounts, guys, and you have the same experience. Like this $500 page that I have set, you change the rules, guys. It's now $250, so I can color my entire sheet and see my progress, guys, okay? And I'm going to color in two $5 ones, too, because I want to color right now. That's what I feel like doing, okay? <laughs> Be sure to watch the other video I posted to show you how to properly clean your uh, laminated challenges, guys, okay? Because I did that before I started filming this video to prepare myself, okay? And we're coloring one more. And so now our $20 is filled in and we still feel the exact same way. So like I said, instead of these being like individual $100 uh, mini challenges, these are now $50 mini challenges, okay, to complete. But like I said, you still get that same feeling of completing coloring your tracker to show your progress, okay? So that's how it's done. I'm going to pull this out. Well, never mind. Shut the boxes on the back of there. <laughs> so I'm going to pull it out and let it dry. I didn't take my tracker out of here. Hold on. Let's pull our tracker. See, I'm talking too much. All right, guys. And we have, what, eight games, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So we got $20, eight games. So we had about a budget of um, $2 per game, $2.50 at the max. Okay. So we can play everything. But like I said, I've already, in my last video, I showed you me changing my amounts. This was at first at one to $2, but now we're at 50 cent and a dollar for Shut the Box, okay? So let's go ahead and do our first roll. We'll play about two, two or three of these, depending on how it goes, okay? But like I said, our budget is $2 per game. $3 at the most, at the max, okay? So we got two Snake Eyes. Three. Seven. 
Give me some big numbers, y'all. <laughs> Four. Let me get another big. Five. Okay. Still in it. Still in it to win it. Can we, we need eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're out. That's five. So that's odd. We're going to save 50 cents for our first turn. Let's go again. Seven. Five. All right, nine. All right, 10. Let me roll that again. All right, six. Ten. Eight and two. Seven. Three and one. Three and four. Eleven, twelve, and one. Okay, we're out. Another odd hand. So that's 50 cents. We can get to play at least one more time, guys. Okay. So eight. Five. All right, seven. All right, three. Nine. Four. All right, ten. nine we are out we got one two three four five okay so that's 50 cent we done y'all we're gonna try a little more time now we'll we'll end it there guys okay <laughs> so we we did three rounds we got a dollar fifty so we're gonna go ahead and update our tracker all right let me take a dollar out the cash tray to represent what already I got, got in here. Okay, let's see. All right, shut the boxes at 30. So now we're at 31.5. Okay, so like that. So we're gonna move on to our next game. Next game is 12 play. We're gonna put $2.50 into this game. We're gonna do 10, 10 turns like we normally do. Okay, so here's our 250 for it. All right, and if we happen to close out a round, we're going to do even an eye for right now, okay? Normally, we will pay the full amount, but since we're on a lower income this week, we're going to do even or odd unless you got it within you to pay these amounts. It's kind of like up to you what you want to do, okay? I, I'm going to say anything one through six, I'd be willing to pay if it closes out at the full price. Anything seven and above, I'm going to do even or odd, Okay. That's, that's, a, that's compromise when you're playing your games, guys. But like I said, continuation of what you've been doing. All right. Let's see what color I want to use this week. Let's see. This is the new color. We're going to use this purple here that I have in my hand. Okay. So we're going to do, we got 10 balls. We get the roll. So we're going to roll a 10-sided die to knock out our numbers. 12-sided die. Let me see. Hold on, guys. There we go. So here we go. So we got 12 balls this week. All right, we got a six. All right, 11. We got a one. Two. Two is already out. Done. Seven. Eleven. One. Okay, we got a five. All right, let me see how many we got left. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got three more rolls. 11 again. All right. We got two more rolls to go. Seven. And then our final roll. 10. 
10. 10 is already done. We'll roll again. One. All right. So there we go, guys. We completed another 10 rows on our game. Like we, we play 10 rows every week and we color them all in the same color. Let me verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We got 10 purple, 12 um, colors, 12 sided die. Okay, we played, that was $250 for us to complete that round. So 12 players going up from $48 to 50.5. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and cash in these two coins to make a dollar to take it out of our cash tray. Okay, because we no longer have that dollar available to us. All right, $4 in. Okay, we have transformed the Be Fruitful and Multiply into a dime game for our multipliers. Okay, so we'll go ahead and roll for it. So we need a color die to determine our fruit, and then we need a six-sided die to determine what the multiplier amount will be, okay? So either um, if you roll a one or a two, it's gonna be a one-time multiplier, two or three, three or four, two-time multiplier, five or six, three-time multiplier, okay? So here we go. Let's roll for the fruit first. We got yellow, which is the banana. All right, banana is the word 10 cent, and then we'll roll our dice to see what we're gonna multiply it towards. Four, two time multiplier, times 10 cent, so 20 cent. So far, okay, let's go again and we'll cross out two bananas. Go again, we got bananas again. Well, we got two bananas left, but let's see what our multiplier is gonna be. We got a three, okay, so three or four, so that's two times, all right. So that's gonna be another 20 cent for the bananas. All right, let's go again. Let's roll for our fruit. No more bananas, bananas are done. We got apples next, okay? And then we're going to roll for our multiplier. We got a one, so that's a two, uh, one time multiplier. So we cross off one, apples are worth 20 cents, so we'll save 20 cents. Go again, roll for our fruit. We got blueberries, okay? And let's roll for our multiplier. We got two, that's a one-time multiplier. Cross off one blueberry. Blueberry is worth um, 10 cent. We'll save 10 cent. Go again, let's roll them together. Okay, we got blueberries with the three-time multiplier. So we cross out three blueberries. They're 10 cent each, so that's gonna be 30 cent coming out of our cash tray. All right, and let's go again, let's see. Blueberries again, okay, with a two-time multiplier that time. Berries are 10 cents, so another 20 cent. Let me go ahead and see how much this is to cash it out. Oops. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a dollar. We up to a dollar twenty. Let's keep going. We got about 80 more cents. I like to spend in this game. Okay. Okay, we got um, grapes. It's a three-time multiplier. Okay. Well, one time multiplier, and it's 30 cents. So we got 30 cent here, okay. One more time, we got 50 cent left. Grapes, okay. And we got a um, two time multiplier that time, okay. And grapes are, so we cross out two grapes. And grapes are 30 cents, so 60 cent that time. All right, so we're in our game there. Let's see how much we end up saving. All right, we got one, one, two, three, four, five. So let's go take it to two dollars. All right, and I think I want to try. We got two ten. So I think I want to try to get me something to make this two fifty to cash this out. Let's see, what can I do for 50, forty cent? Uh, forty cent. Let's cross off an orange, and no, cross off two green apples that'll make. Uh, here we go. Two green apples that make 40 cent, and we'll just round it up to 250 like that. So 250 going in for be fruitful and multiply. So 250 takes for added to 36.50 goes to 39 dollars. Okay, that's where we are in our game. All right, perfect. Next game, nickel and diamond. We got 25 cent if we get a um, nickel. If we roll a five. We're gonna save 25 cents. We roll a 10, which is a dime. We're gonna save 50 cents for the dime. So I'm gonna get a 10-sided die. 
All right, five, that's our first nickel. So that's gonna be a quarter. Okay, we got seven. Oh, we need to roll five or 10. That's what we're looking for. Can we roll in it? Come on, the day. There's another nickel, okay. So that'd be another quarter for us. All right, nickel, another quarter. The nickels is winning, guys. The nickels is in it to win it. All right, let's keep going. Five or zero is what we're looking for. Nickel and diamond, okay, another um, five for another dime. I mean, nickel. So we're up to $1 so far here. Okay, I'm going to cash this in for a dollar. Okay, and then let's keep going. We got another dollar to spend here at least. That was almost a dime. Okay, there's our first dime today. Okay, so that's 50 cents. Okay, five or zero. Five or zero, what can we get? There's another dime, okay? So there's our dollar into another dollar there. So we have $2 going in for nickel and diamond today, which is perfect, that's what we want. All right, let me cash this in. So here we go, $2, perfect. Up there, our tracker. Nickel and diamonds, 30 started at 33, now at 35. Okay, now we're going to our word cross, crossword roll, okay? And like I said, these the letters are 10 cent today, so we're gonna go ahead and color off some. Let's see. So let's do about, a, hopefully we can complete some words and finish and do about 10 word rolls. Get our $2 Q, no Qs, guys. We got an F. Let's see, many Fs up here. Mm. No Fs. Okay. V, no Vs. G. Budget. We got first G up there. Okay. So that's 10 cent. N. Ten cent. Okay, C. Let me see. Do, do, do. I don't see any C's. F. We need we need a lot of E's, guys, or some Y's up here for sure. Lots of vowels. <laughs> I don't see an F. That's another F. B. Now there's a B, a variable. We got another B, no more Bs. We need some vowels. P, no Ps. We got a wild, okay? So let's go ahead and try to see if we can finish something. Let's see. Anything close to finishing? Let's, let's do a U here on YouTube, okay? So we just need to eat and finish that off today. So that's 10 cent. Okay, R. So we got our first 50 cent in here. So that's five rolls so far. Okay. K. I don't think it's any Ks, guys. Wild. Okay, we're gonna finish off YouTube today. Okay. So we're gonna pay 10 cent for the letter and then pay 50 cent for the word. Okay, so we're up to our first dollar in our game. Let's keep going and try to finish another word today. Possibly, let's see what we can do. Okay, you, 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 you. Nope, cause I use the you for you, oh, budget, budget guy right here. 
All right, I'll keep going. B, no more Bs. We need some Es or Ys, guys. Es, A. Okay, there's an A. Okay, Y. I don't think there's any Ys up here. Let's see, Ys, no. All the Ys are already taken. K, no more K. The W, huh. W, W, W. Nope. I need some wilds or some vials. That's another W, guys. F. Nope. Come on, come on. Wild. There we go. We're going to take out this planner. Okay. E and planner to finish up that word. So 10 cent plus 50 for completing the word. And there we go. We can end our game there, guys. I think we made enough. All right. So here we go. So here's a dollar we're cashing in for the two words we completed. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do one more letter. Let's roll for another one to try to get it. Let's see if we can get anything. H. Let me see. There we go, wild. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and do, let's do this S and Etsy. All right, so that's another dollar. So we got $2 for crossword roll going in today. Planted at 10 cent, perfect. Okay, so 31 goes to 33. Okay, for our new total today. All right, four squares up next, all right? So we're going to roll two 12-sided die for this game, guys. Let me grab mine. Okay, if I can find it. There it is, okay? And so the goal here is we're going to use the dry erase marker as well to mark our um, territory, okay? Okay, so if we land on, uh, you're going to roll one, one, five side, one 12 side of dial five times first to try to knock out the smaller numbers, then you'll get the second one to roll up to knock out the bigger numbers, and the first one that completes the four square wins, okay? So here we go. We got a one, so that's row number one. Five, two, eight, three, four. Row number four, last row, we got a, a nine. All right, now we use two dice. We got a six, 10, row number two. 15, row number three, we got seven, row number four, last row, two dice, it's 14, all right, there we go, back to one dice, we got nine, nine is already taken, row number two, 10, taken, row number three, four, it's gone, row number five, four, four. number two, okay, and row number five with one dice, we got a two again, okay? Back to two dice. All right, we got 16. Here we go. Eight is already gone. Row number three, we got 16. It's gone. Four. 15, gone. Row number five, we got nine. It's gone, okay? Back to one dice again. Let's see. Two, gone. Two again. Oh, all two. Six, gone. Okay, last row on here. One, they're all gone. Okay, back to two dice. All right, we got a 10, gone. Okay, we got 18. This is number four. We got a 10. Row number five. 14 is already gone. Back to one die. We still need to get a three over there. It is three. Okay. One. Number seven. Um, third row, one. Fourth row, two. Fifth row, 10. Okay. All those are gone. Back to two dice. All right. We got 14. It's already gone. <clears throat> Three, gone. 
seven and some third row 17 okay this is the last row 15 is gone okay so i believe all the i oh, we still need a 12 for one side to die okay 11 and 12 one two that's four three one four is ten five can we get it let's set an eight nope we still need 12 and 11 on the first side okay five i already missed one let's see 15 nope Roll number three. 14. I already gone. We ain't really. Yeah. 16. 16. 16. Now 16 is already gone. Final roll here. 10. We ain't get nothing that round, y'all. All right. Back to 11 to 12. <laughs> There's 11. Okay. <laughs> 4. Roll number 3. 11 again. Roll number 4. Three, row number five, and we get a 12. There's our 12, okay? Here we go. We need some big numbers, seven. All right, eight, that's 10. 19, all right, here's our four square that's complete. It's worth $1.50, and we're just gonna double that, okay? And we're gonna do $3 there, okay? There we go, the update four square. We did $3 today, so 43. All right. And then we got two games remaining, guys. So let's do away with debt and money bags. Let's see what we got left to play. All right, we got about four. We do $4 here, maybe, and $3 in the next game. Okay, we got $7 left, so here we go. For this game, you're gonna roll a 10-sided die for the column, then a 10-sided for the row, the row column, however. And where the interest that's what we're gonna say, we're gonna on the row 10, number one. So we got a debt bomb, and the bomb is 50 cents. So we'll say 50. Row number 10 again. Three. It's already gone for the debt avalanche. We got a one again, gone. Eight. Eight is debt snowball, 50 cents. We'll say that. So we got one dollar so far in the game. So again, row four. Okay, 10 is already taken out. Three, we got a uh, debt avalanche, so that's a dollar. Okay, we got two. Row two, five. One, two, three, four, five is already taken out. Five again. Four, debt snowball. All right, so again, eight. Down here, uh, let's see. Okay, three is already taken out. Seven, gone. Six is gone as well. We need either a four or a eight, nine, four, eight, nine. There's a four. That snowball, 50 cent. All right, so that's, I'm gonna go ahead and cash this in. This is $2 right here, I'm taking away. And we got one more dollar to spend over here. I would like to spend, so here we go. So we got row number nine. All right, and let's see. We got seven, it's already gone. Three, gone. Four, okay, debt snowball, 50 cent. All right, and do I just wanna, we just, we, we can do, let's see. Let's just take out one, another debt snowball, guys. We just take out one of the um, 50 cent icons and make that even, okay? There we go. And so we got $4 going in for do away with debt. And so it takes from 52 to 56. And then our final game is big money bags. And we have $3 left to play this game, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna roll um, five dice. And whatever majority we get, we're gonna um, color the majority, say 25 cent for odd majority, and then uh, 50 cent for even majority. And we got $3, like I mentioned, to play. So here we go. That is the odd majority. So that's gonna be um, 25 cent. 
And we're gonna color our money back green. Let me grab my green marker, guys. Let's see. Here it is. All right, another odd majority. So another 25 cent, another green money bag. All right, let's see. Odd again, guys. Odd is winning. <laughs> odd is doing the thing, okay? Okay, we got an even majority that time, so it's gonna be 50 cent. And we're gonna color our money back yellow. All right, we got another odd majority, so it's another, there we go. So we're halfway through our money. Now we still got a dollar 50 left. Okay, it's an even majority, all even, so the 50 cent, okay. Down to our final dollar, guys. All right, that's the even majority there, so 50 cent. All right, we can do one more roll. Okay, and that is the odd majority there. So that's gonna take us to a quarter there. And we only have one quarter remaining, okay? And so we're gonna put that in there and then we're going to go ahead and color in a final money bag for this. And just for fun, we're going to do a roll here. Okay, it would have been even. So we did the right thing by coloring in ahead of time. Then we'll cash in our chips for our final um, dollar. So it's a dollar fifty here plus another dollar fifty. So that's three dollars. Three final dollars for out our cash tray, and our um, cash tray is now empty. So the game is over, guys. And we had so much fun. But yet again, here we are playing the exact same game at a lower amount, having the same amount of fun. And thirty minutes later, and twenty dollars later, we have played. Um, a great round of um, games in our um, heat book, okay? At $20, okay? $2 a game, but let me update my tracker for this last game. All right, big money bags. We put $3 in there, so we went from 29 to 30, 32, okay? So that is it, guys. We are done here. I enjoyed myself yet again. Love playing my games as always. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to come on and share my games with you and share my financial journey. And it's been so much fun. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please leave me some comments below. Uh, please leave. Please watch as I play directly after the video. Share my video if you would like to. Um, get you a heat book head over to Etsy <laughs> a one-of-a-kind okay book all right and it's, and it's fun every challenge in this um, book is fun and it's uh, budget friendly for any income anybody can save with my book and you're gonna have a, a load of fun okay I pro I'm proving it time and time again every day in this book that any budget can save using my book okay so we are done here all right so enjoy your day and I'll see you guys later bye